we are we are given this kind of scary looking polynomial to the fifth degree and so we want to know at so since this is a model since this is a model of gdp for every year after 1933 we want to know we want to know at at 1930 34 and at at 1942 1942 as well as 19 as well as 1949 what was our gdp and so since we're already given the function, and x is the number of years after 1933, so let's set, set our base, base year to be 1930 to be 1933. In other words, that is when x is equal to 0. And so since that's when x is equal to 0, well, 1934 is when x is equal to 1. And 1942, that would be when x is equal to 1942 minus 1933. That would be x is equal to x is equal to 9. And so 1949, that would be when x is equal to x is equal to 16. And so so with the with the nasty function, we can use our graphing calculators to plug these values in. So and when we plug in when we plug in x is equal to 1, we get 5700 and 5778.1 dollars. And when we plug in x is equal to 9, we get we get 9000 378.2. When we plug in x is equal to 16 into the problem, we get we get 4,000 4,402.1 dollars. And so since the problem looked really scary, we know that we can just use our our graphing calculator to to plug in these points and figure out what the value at this year this this function gives. And so since 1933 was our base year, remember we set x is equal to zero. And then all we had to do is was just plug in. And so now let's figure out let's figure out in this range. So we have from zero to remember this is this is 17. 0 to 17 because we are going from 1933 to 1950 so 17 year age range and our max we can clearly see is somewhere at this point right here and so if we were to drop that down here somewhere we would say okay well this is somewhere after 10 years but before 11 and so when we're calculating years since sometime so even if this was let's say 10 point let's say this is 10.7 10.7 if that was our x value well that would still count that would still count as the 10th year because if we add 10.7 this 0.7 is just how many months after we started the 10th year this 10.7 just means we're still at x is equal to 10 and if remember if we set 1933 1933 as our base year, we need to add 10. So when we add 10, what we get is that at this year, 1943, this was when we had the max GDP, in other words, the highest GDP. And so since this function looked really scary, it's actually, it's actually very useful for economics, for calculating GDP, um, and, and even though it's a scary looking polynomial, it's very polynomials are very useful in all in all studies. So in this case, we we use the real world application for a polynomial to figure out GDP within a given given year range.